Every time I solve a problem in Rust, I feel superior, even if it took me 10 times as long. I need to, before we spend a ton of time writing this, we should make sure that this is actually, um, this is actually, like, gonna be useful enough to be worthwhile. We were learning PHP, we're still gonna learn about PHP, but we're accidentally writing Rust to help things about it. Oh, cool, teacher. Nice. So, let's do something like this. So, we have um, a language. We have um, injections. Centaur. Teach, can you use this a bit? It seems fun to code using this plugin. I'm not gonna code with it. You know that's my plugin, right? It's like impossible, because then how am I gonna type vec? You know what I mean? We can't type, but it won't work. My own tree map visualization rust over disk usage, but I got annoyed with errors. Classic. Enter, but appreciate the Twitch Prime. Really appreciate it. So, okay. I, everyone just have the injections as, um, just a list of queries, right? Classic. Okay, so then we'll have, I don't know. Do we store these as queries? No. Oh, see, this is just some performance thing. I ain't doing that. Is it not query? Oh, okay. There's just a lot of them. Oh, no. It would just be one query. It would just be one, right? I should start using it. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. So a bunch of this stuff is just so that they can hold them all in one query. I'm just really not interested in trying to do that. It's just seems more work than it's worth, at least to start with. We may go back to it later, but language configuration. So you have this and this, right? So now you have a tree. So let's say, so you have some source. We'll just say it's a string for now. That makes it easy. Uh, we'll just have everything be owned, right? We have some config, which is a language configuration. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to do this. We can do new, and this is gonna take in a language. Probably should own a parser as well. I don't know, maybe maybe it doesn't need to own a parser. Probably it should own a parser. Uh, language. And it should have injection query. Uh, should return itself. Cool. 
query new from language. I don't actually think we need a parser, maybe. We can just make this result, I guess, like this. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, cool. So now you could have an, a language configuration. So let's just do something. Let's make a test for this quick. Uh, test can parse some blade, right? Should new return result? That seems strange. Why not try from? Yeah, we could make it try from instead. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't really care. I, I like, I don't, I guess try from, but wait, try from, no, because we're, we have two arguments here. So I don't think you would do try from. You could do try new. Why would new not return a result? Like either we can do it or we can't. Did we error when we were trying to do it? It seems fine for new, right? There's no, I think this is pretty common. Oh, this one literally returns a result. Yeah, we're good. Let's take something like this, like let text is, what is it again? I always do it backwards this way. Wait, what's the way to do this? Um, isn't there a way to make it multiple of these or something? What's the way to do multiple uh, escapings here? Or did I just do this wrong? Oh, I just did it backwards. Nice. Okay. I just did it backwards. I get it wrong every time, pretty much. Um, okay, so then let's do... Uh, we can call this source instead. Let's do like let config is language configuration new. Um, tree sitter ph blade language. And then let's take um, include stir. Uh, this is from the root, right? Or is this from here? This is from this file, right? Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this instead. I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do this. For right now, because we'll have some loader stuff for this later. Um, cargo, cargo test. Okay, great. So this is working. We, we can at least make the injection. That's good. Um, I don't know that we have, has ancestor. We'll have to see.
Um, okay, so now we have like a config. <clears throat> right now we want to make like a language tree, right? So. So this should take some config, language configuration. Uh, we'll worry about lifetimes and stuff later. Uh, okay, so now we can have let tree is language tree new config source. Yes. Yeah, if you didn't worry about it later, then you would never get it done. So. Right. Oh, this doesn't even close. I should probably close this. Like this, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome, WM. So then what do we want to do? We want to make, like, a, let's do, like, a... Um, we need to have some parse, right? But the thing that's weird is, like, if we parse this, it's not really going to make sense... We, we want to basically say, we, we need to parse like inside of here. This should probably parse. Because then what do we want to do here? You'll have something like pub function and let's find like, uh, what, what's the, what's the actual function that we want to do? actual function that we want to do is we want to do descendant for point range right so basically we want like enclosing and like we can we can just call it this though and this would be like you need yourself and then you need some uh Start, point, and point, uh, node. So then we want to do something where we say, like, it's awesome, WM, over. Because we basically want to do, like, we want to get this node. We want to make sure that we're actually getting the right stuff, right? So, when we first look at this, we print off node blade. And it's like, blade is the whole thing, blade is the whole thing. Then we have node text 0 to 312, right? So, 0, 3, 12 to, like, here. And then what is it? It's text, PHP statement. Interesting. Why does it say that that's a PHP statement? Because it runs into a string. Oh, this whole thing is a PHP statement, I guess. PHP only. That's here. Okay, so that's this one. Oh, that's the next line. Okay, right. Yep, so that's inside here is PHP. That's why when we go to this definition, we get here. But everywhere else, we just get the beginning. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, okay, because this is what we need to basically, like, we need to embed HTML inside of here. Right, so we need to say this one's PHP, or we need to embed PHP. But PHP also needs to embed, uh, oh shoot, the PHP also needs to embed HTML, right? Cargo, add, tree, sitter, HTML. Is it LSV for Laravel with LiveWire? That's what we're, we're exploring some options there. 
Oh, we're inceptioning right now. Tree, sitter, PHP, languages, injections query. Beautiful. If we go to this, right? We actually get this inside of here, which is awesome. Is there anything, but Blake can also have CSS and also JS. Uh, that won't be an issue. We'll also handle that. We can handle it all. We can handle it all. Are you winning, son? Yes. Does the terminal even really matter? I just use flip because that's... Um, most of the time, no. I mean, depends what you mean by matter. Because basically, for each of these languages, we need to have a language... Um, we need to build... Right, okay. Yeah, because this is kind of like the annoying bit, but that's okay. For right now, this is mostly just... This is mostly just, um, oh, what was the inspect tree? What are the other things that we can do? Press A, I, source language. So these are all basically HTML, which is fine, and blade. Because that's all we're doing in this one. There's nothing exciting and probably some PHP. Oh, it's not even injecting the PHP inside of here. PHP only is blade. Oh, that's because the split hasn't happened yet. You have a slow space vid. I have one with bash. That's this one's pretty good. It'll give you a lot of help, I think. I love this song. Yeah. Okay. So for right now, we just need HTML. Okay. Oh, but that's because PHP is inside of here. Wait, what? No, no, no. What are the injection queries for this? Do we never... Why is there no PHP Envoy? Injection content. Injection text. What about injection element? Or that's because PHP. So if I open a new PHP file, something.php, and I just go... Yeah. It's basically this, right? Okay, so we have to do double embed. Oh boy. Oh boy. So for Neovim's lang tree. We have callbacks children, which is just more language trees. So we have we have language tree to language tree, right? So like each language tree can hold itself, right? So you would basically say like here, you should have children and you would have like hash map. Uh, I don't know string to language tree like this right oops Do I get the layout editor? There's a bug where I get the prompt position at the top of the results still stuck to the bottom. Uh, that seems pretty weird. I don't know. Or to think about 220, that's on a crazy sale right now. Me? Did I say something about ThinkPads? OmniSharp. Any pointers on writing my writing your own LSP? Holy cow! For C sharp, that'd be quite a task. So we can copy a bunch of the 
we can copy a bunch of the ideas from here, right? So basically this is like children, source, intercepts region, parse regions. Get injections. So we get all the matches and then we get the injection from the match. Okay. Yeah. Oh man, this is gonna be so much code chat. To handle this. Oh, nice. I'm not sure if I was in Prime Chat yesterday, but I will. I have recommended similar things before. Well, the problem is I'm not sure. Well, so I need to before we spend a ton of time writing this, we should make sure that this is actually um, this is actually like going to be useful enough to be worthwhile. So, like, let's see, we could optionally instead. But the problem, okay, so the problem is basically like, you can embed PHP in a bunch of different weird ways. You can have PHP in random spots. We probably actually do want to use TreeSitter to do stuff with all of those and PHP in all those places. So then it's kind of like, okay, so if you're going to do all those things, you probably do need TreeSitter, which means you probably need embedding. Well, we definitely need embedding, which means like maybe we may as well like do this, right? We could we do this like a really dumb way to get started? Could we parse the whole file and then look for okay? So, well, we could try that. We could try that. So, let's do something like, um, let's do like let, um, tree is self dot like, uh, let's go. Let's try and do something stupid to start with, right? Parser set language, uh, self dot config dot language. Okay. Parser.parse um, text is self.source.as bytes. We don't need this. None. Okay, so now we're going to do. Now we want to see if we match any of the, of the injection queries, right? So let's do, uh, tree dot, what it's query, uh, self dot. Query dot it um tree sitter matches query match right how do I get that again oh, I need to make a cursor I think self query capture names iter map um query pattern counts where do I actually run these I don't remember I haven't done this part in a little while. Match in matches cursor. Okay, so we do just make a new cursor. Let mute cursor. Yeah. Cursor. 
Uh, we can do that from a query, I think, right? A query cursor new. I think we need to make this mute. And then we can, I'm pretty sure, cursor.matches. Yeah, let matches is cursor.matches. Query, yep. Node is tree.root node. Text provider is um, self.source as bytes. So now we have some matches, right? And what we want to do is we can do like uh, 4M in matches. We can do this. Then we, I guess we could just do this. We can just do tree dot descendant. Tree dot root node dot descendant for point range. Start, start here. Okay. Okay. What? Where's the value? Doesn't... Option self? Returning value reference by local tree? Um, classic rust. It's just classic rust. But I don't know why... Gets the root node of the syntax tree. borrowed here yes I'm aware gets the root node of the syntax tree. that doesn't even make sense split keyboards good for gaming I game on mine a little bit but I'm not a serious gamer so I don't think it's that good but I just don't like switching it mostly Tree is borrowed here. I, I'm aware. Ugh, whatever. Okay. Do you see? How do you see? How can you see the error that's printed in red? I really want to know that. What? Well, uh, what do you mean? You can just do uh, vim dot diagnostic dot um, go to next. Or, uh, I think it's just show. Mm, I don't remember exactly. Diagnostic show. Yes, Vincer agreed. Oh, yeah, you gotta show that thing. That's fine. The function returns a node that borrows tree internally. Uh, 
Uh, oh, right. Yes, okay. Um, how can I say that they last as long, though? Oh, the, tr the tree itself has to be... Oops. Can't do that, though. It's a lie. Yeah, I mean, we could box leak. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. What up, Kiwi? If you're even a real person. Nobody ever knows on the internet anymore. All right, let's go back to uh, trees. Local variables. You have to pass it as parameter or something. Yeah, it's just annoying. Dude, this still says no though. Trees borrowed here. Returns a value reference data owned by the current function. Oh, probably because I have two owned here. Oh shoot, right. Yeah, duh. No, it's actually like this, right? Can I do this? Is this a thing? I have annual and old terminals at the same time to share the marks. I don't think so. Since it tells you guys, I can only find a route that support code option. Nice. This is where I'm like, dude, oh my goodness. I just don't, I don't want to do this. I don't care. I want to copy it. Just let me copy it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Just let me copy it. Don't even care. Can you clone? I, for some, I don't, so there's something weird with the fact that this has some sort of phantom data shenanigans with tree and with node. So node has this single node written with a tree syntax oh wait all right we'll try we'll, we'll try one more thing we'll try this we'll pass in tree and we'll pass in tree like this tree tree and we'll make this one like this and then this one like this does this work? <sighs> okay, I eventually figured it out. That was a skill issue. It's just a skill issue. What can you do? Skill issue. Um, so now we can go here and what I'd like to do is instead of having this, let's say something like, um, this is,
We'll do this later to not have this. But this is fine for right now. This needs to pass a source. Oh, this is... Wait, no. That doesn't make any sense. No, no, no. Not source. Tree. Oh, we don't need this. Config. Oh. Doi. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I didn't thought you were writing the family photo sharing app. So we are currently distracting. Do you feel smarter now? Yes. Every time I solve a problem in Rust, I feel superior, even if it took me 10 times as long. Um, we're writing PHP tooling in Rust for fun or maybe profit. We'll see. Fair and based. Okay, so let's do... Let's do let config is language, language config. What did I call it again? Language configuration blade. Rust is better than PHP anyways. Don't say that. Lang parser. Okay, so we let's uh, before we do this, let's go like this. We do need this, and we need this. We should have a parser. Um, let mute parser is parser new parser dot set language self dot language expect to set language I guess we can just do this oh my goodness so then we can do let That's part's annoying. Being TDD right now? Not really. I mean, we're writing some tests. <clears throat> Why is everyone in chat announcing? <laughs> Got him, Ryan. Fun fact, you know, teach in our county means, in our country means festivals, but in our Wait, what? Say it again. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, Tej. Oh, the word Tej means that. What country is this? What? Um, let node. Oh, so we need to make a let tree. Lang, lang tree. Language tree. New. And then what did we say in this? This needs to take a config and it needs to take some source, which is text. This is a result. So then we wanna do something like get node at point. 
we want to just basically take all of this we do let um let node is langtree dot descendant for range tree start we'll say point and point we can do this right And this should be some option. What do you um wait, so you end up having to write your own LSP? No, no, no. We may we may try and publish all of this stuff and other PHP may, may like it. Yeah, in Nepal. Third day after new moon. Oh, interesting. Didn't know that. <clears throat> Easy as soon. Oh, no, no, sorry. PHP tooling written in Rust. <laughs> We're all over the place on the stream. You never know what you're going to get. Um, but the ECS, I mean, it's still... We're going to work on it some more. It's working. Did you see this part? We can spawn more Erlangs now. We can drop them. This is all with commands and stuff. Right? And then we can do we can do this, right? And then eventually... It only checks the first one right now, but... So we're... Like, it's, it's actually good, you know? Sweet chat. Look at this. We got our query matches. Just turning the PHP normies and debating them into watching a COBOL stream. Exactly. What is this music playlist? It's literally just cloud none. Shira hair like, oh, nice. I didn't even know that. Okay, chat. This is exactly what we wanted to see. Look at this. We got our different injections that we wanted right here. Text, text, PHP only text, text. That's great. That means we are at least getting we're we're getting we're getting there, right? We're getting we're getting to the place that we need to get to the place of. Right? So that's good. That's good news. Ship it. Um so then what we need to do is we need to do something like we need to do something like we can check to see if this match m dot intersects. Is there like a range start uh, nodes for capture index nodes for capture index? Aha, right. Oh, right. Because now here's where we need to say something like what's the capture index injection for match. If some query capture dot matches, index is this. Yep. Okay. Okay, so I have to remember how to do a little bit. I'm going to go have food for the cat. Good strategy. That is a good strategy. Approved. So what we need to do. Blazingly fast. Dang, that's a crazy coincidence. So this should also... So let's go back to our info. This should be... What does this say? Query match idea uh, pattern next. 0, 1, 2, 0, 1. So 0... Oh, yes. Okay. So we let's just cheat right now. If m dot pattern index equals 0... This would be, this one is what should be PHP match. Okay. So we do this, we run this, we go out of here, we go back to here, we go to blade, we hit this, we hit definition, we see PHP match. Boom. That's perfect. That's perfect. 
So that's what we want to see, because that's this one right here. We're injecting the PHP, okay? So then what are we going to do? We need to parse this like it's PHP. The problem is that this is actually HTML for our case. So before we go too far deep, let's go ahead and do... Did I already do cargo um, add tree sitter HTML? Um, LSP. Did I do this? Nice, I didn't. Okay. So now what I want to do is let's do something like this. Um, we want to do something like this. Let uh, HTML parser. We'll just do something like this, okay? We'll just do something like this. HTML parser is parser new. This is a terrible strategy, the way we're doing it right now. I'm aware, okay? Parser, set language. Um, tree, sitter, HTML, language, okay? Oops, HTML parser. Then what we want to do is we want to do something like... Uh, print node. Let's actually just yoink this to here. Let's put this in here as print node. Okay. Well, using fast measure projects abandoned per stream. Exactly. Hey, we've been working for one project for four and a half hours. Okay. We've been doing this the whole time. We're cruising. So then what we want to do is we want to do let HTML tree is parser parse with and we need to have parser parse with parse mm. text this is where things are going to get a little bit trickier what do we do in neo there's got to be some like offset or something like that right add bytes okay so that's just like yeah, offset, unpack four. Proper bike computation and account for your line. Okay, so there's some there may be some goofiness here. But that's fine. For right now, let's just try and do this. Text. So this is actually gonna be let node. Uh what does this actually capture? It only captures one. Oh, injection content. Yes. Okay. Should be able to do uh, m dot nodes for capture index zero. Hopefully. Okay. So now we have a node. So let HTML text node dot text utf eight text self and um self dot source dot as bytes now we have html text this should be like this right this is already a string nice old tree is none and we can do print node html tree dot root node level is zero all right let's see what happens chat i do work from home yep Wait a second. I mean, this kind of looks right, except, but uh, let's go back to here. Consider HTML. Oh shoot! I did HTML parser. Okay. This is why you don't put everything in one loop, everybody. It's a bad plan. Yes. Yes. We're in, chat.
That's HTML, boys and girls. HTML parser fork bomb. No, 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 it's perfect. It's perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. Because now, Tracer confuses the bonkers out of me. Okay, ask a particular question and I'll give you a, I'll give you a good answer. I wonder why there's an error in here though. Is there not parser dot parse with offsets? Root node with offsets. Get the root node signal, but with its position shifted by the given offset. Ooh, okay. Offset bytes, which is node dot start byte. Offset extent point. Skill issue. No, it's okay. Like, what part doesn't make sense? Okay, so we get this, but that's great. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, chat. Wait, this for analysis? Yep. I didn't even think about that. We could have been just doing regex. We could have just been doing regex. RS is for rust. RB is for Ruby. Why are we sitting? Why are we sitting on the tree? Red X. Regular expressions. It's a classic. Okay, so now we want to do... Is there no like intersects? Intersects. Self intersect ranges. So let's do if well root dot descendant for point range start end is sum. Oh. There's no way to own this, right? Shoot, they have different... Man! Can I do this? Right, because this tree is built here. Man! Anyhow is like easy air, air handling stuff. It lets you not think about errors until later, basically. Like, you still get to use errors and stuff, but yeah. <clears throat> Creates the owned? But this won't work either, because this is like... The problem is that it has this phantom data that's associated with the tree. So how can I make this tree... I don't actually know how to even do this because the, I don't actually, I actually don't know how to do this. I don't know how to get this node out of here. Okay. So instead of returning a node, maybe instead of returning a node, we can return a position.
we'll do that instead right and then we'll just say start I'll change this to return a position Life's position dot map um, point to position point to position Oh right, uh, node, node dot position. Right, like this. And then we can do this as well. Point to position, no dot start position. References are points, point to position. Oh, did I get, oh, I should probably, oh, whatever. Okay, so it's still not working for everything, but we're at least getting closer. Why would it not do it? For, why would it not put it inside of div for this? We can't return the node because of... Uh, how can I say this? Uh, we can't return the node because it's owned by a tree that we made within the function. I suppose hypothetically we could return a tree and a node and then we might be able to do it, but uh, that's the main problem. Tree setter text object is completely separate. Yes, it is completely, completely separate. Okay, so now I'm pretty sure it's probably something with offset. I think we didn't do the offset right. So HTML root, root node with offsets. Get the root node that's in directory, but it's position shifted forward by the given offset. Um, uh, didn't you pass a tree into the function though? It's a different tree. One, one was the original tree, and then a new one is the tree that I create um, when I encounter new language. How commonly do organizations notice contributors want to get an open source? Doesn't make um, it definitely happens. Yeah, definitely happens. I know some coworkers who have gotten hired um, from doing some stuff like that. Node. All right, let's try this. Let's start this over and then see. Let's go to, um, let's go to this one. Okay. So we are, we should probably also, you know, be smart is in our LSP, Oops, LSP. We go to definition. We probably should log what we're actually doing here. Just so we can see where the spot is that we're working. What's the easiest way to debug Lua code? Uh, define debug. Okay, so we're trying to do from line 26, character 11. 
Line 26, character 11. Oh, well, we just never even, we never even find anything that's there, do we? Oh, does this still, oh, this still returns a root for some reason. No, it doesn't work because node has a phantom data, which is really a super secret special way of saying this doesn't actually, this can't be owned, basically, kind of. Which is really cool that you can do that. It just makes it kind of annoying if you need to work with more than one tree. 0, 0 to 3, 12. So this just shouldn't overlap, but it does. If node not equal to start byte not equal to 0. Bad hack. Ha <laughs> nice chat. Let's go. Nice. Right. See, now we're, now we're getting like inside definitions of each of these. Right. So now what we want to do is we want to go, um, we want to basically be able to say like, I want to look for a parent. Like, so I want to look for the closest like element, right? I want to look for the closest element. So let's actually just explain like in five where tree sitter works tree sitter is a library for both writing grammars to generate a parser right so something that can parse this code and then also a way to easily query those um like the results of the parser so it's sort of like on both ends of that and it's really good at doing incremental updates uh which is what why it's popular for text editors but now it's popular for other things because lots of people have written tree sitter grammars so it's basically like you can write something in tree sitter and you can make it work for like the rust language and then it can like it can also then work for like php um so it's very cool it's very portable there's a bunch of amazing ideas in it it's very cool so let's do this one parent with name So let's say we have this, we have this node. We can do node.parent, get this node's immediate parent. Um, while um, while node.kind, get the, not equal to name, node. Dot Okay. Oh, right. Thanks. 
Oh, cool. Cool, Rukio. Yeah. So, ideally, this should take us to the beginning of the element now. Mm. Okay. So, we're close. I don't know what exactly... So, let's, let's say we go to this one. Why does it take me to here? That seems pretty weird, does it not? All right, let's check this out. Let's check our logic again. So node is node. While node kind not equal to name, we get the parent of the node. Once we get the parent for this kind of node, we should be able to get start position. Well, what is the start position, I guess, for this guy? Inspect tree. 17. Oh, right here. Oh, well, that's kind of lame. I guess we want to find the, like... Tag name. Oh, wait, there's one. Wait, 1821. Oh, that's right here. No, no, no. This should be good. Why doesn't this work? Why do we go to here? That seems really weird. We should be inside of this here, right? So it should be that we get this node, and then we get our parent, which is this, and we get our parent, which is this, and then we get this guy. 1821. Okay. Possibly have off by one somewhere. Not gonna lie. Possible we have off by one. Hey, what's up? Okay, uh, we can tr quick try and fix this and I need to help my wife. Uh, you wouldn't understand, chat. Late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. Alright, so... Shoot. Okay, so... I don't know why this isn't working. Parent, get the parent. Okay, so let's see what this has to say. Parent, node, element, 11, 12 to 15, 18. 11, 12. Oh, no, no, no. LSP spec. <sighs> Don't tell me. Hey, both those are zero based. That's good. Okay, so those are both zero based. Mm. This is the first node that we get.
Um, if all right, let's try this. This might clean it up a bit. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So we should be getting go to definition from 1131. So that's 1131, like that's right here. Yep, that seems good. And what I expected to have happen was query match this one. So this one should match. And then we should get that 1131 should match like in here, which looks good. We're in the tag name and attribute. Yep. Then I thought we would get 1120. Which that makes sense. 1120. 1112. What? Oh, are they siblings or something? No, they, they can't be siblings, right? No, no, 1112 to 1115, 18. Parent. Um, I don't think it's, I mean, I don't, I use QWERTY, so I don't know. Start walking with tag name 1121. What? Tag name? 1121? Shouldn't the immediate parent of tag name 1121 be self-closing tag, which then should be element? What did I say? Oh my goodness. Oh no, that's good. This should be good. What? Why? What is, it? What is happening here? Return some point to position node dot start position node. We're going to walk upward in our parents until we get to the node. Or if there's nothing, then we're done. That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. But we're going to have to quit soon. And how does it end? How does it end there? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, unless. Unless chat. These don't actually work. I need to do the offset. We can try this. Um... Start dot row plus equal. Can I even do plus equals? Um, HTML root dot start. Oh, this. So we need to. We need to not call this node. We need to change this to be um, child node. Child node. So this would be node dot start position dot row and start column column and then this would be start okay let's try this chat do you have an insta i do not why would i need an insta okay that messed it up big time i messed it up even worse okay that didn't work 
All right, I gotta go. We'll work some more on this tomorrow. Um, we'll raid somebody right now. Just watching the next video.